Flame here, and welcome. Well, I, I was not going to say welcome back, but welcome. Today, we are reacting to a channel that I have not reacted to before. I see, I watch the videos on my own time, but I have never reacted, and we're going to react to some WrestleMania stuff. Why you say WrestleMania stuff is because me, as in me, Flame, is going to WrestleMania this year. So why not watch, I don't know, WrestleMania related videos? You heard me, right? I'm gonna go, but not by myself. I'm gonna go with my family. You know, it's always been a dream of mine to go to WrestleMania. And it's gonna happen. I'm excited. And that excitement cannot be contained. So that's what we're acting to. The 10 WWE superstars that should have main evented WrestleMania. And one of the first ones that comes to mind is Johnson. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, you've main evented many times. A main event of WrestleMania is a special thing. Volumes, those who partake volumes, can be volumes. reduced to tears, while those who are never given the chance mm. may grow oh, bitter and cold. Unfortunately, pumped. there are only 38 mm -hmm. Mania main events to go around. Mm -hmm. I mean, 39 or, or 40. Wait a minute. Mm hmm. 41 and counting Mania yes. main events. Stupid two night manias. And for his. And we know the, the, the WrestleMania 39. Uh, night two is gonna be obviously Roman versus Cody Rhodes. I'm 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 rooting for Cody, rooting rooting for Cody. I want Cody to win, cause he, he this is the time for Roman to lose. It has to happen. And the main event for night one, I want it to be KO and Sammy versus the Usos, cause that will be historic. Of that, I feel like if that match doesn't main event night one. Then the match that does, no one's going to care about it because many people are mainly there for the John Cena, for the uh, the KO and Sammy, you know, the Ray and Dom. So just no disrespect to Charlotte and Mommy Rhea and just like as much as WWE the obvious like to choice is the tag team title main event had four main events. Proper main event status has always been saved. Roman main event is so many shows. for no reason. WrestleMania is the biggest show of the year, and there are many. 31? Many wrestlers I would say 31 and the last three makes sense. Or the last some still have a no, chance last three. before their careers are done. This year, some, last year, and the year before that. Look Those make sense. For better. These are 10 WWE stars who should have main evented WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. And before we get on with our list, make sure, of course, that you like this video, subscribe, and enable notifications to always on so you never miss a fun list just like it. And make sure to check out the plethora of WrestleMania content Please we do have so. right here on the channel this month. They Number have a 10, whole list, Seth bro. Rollins. I'm so late. Yes, I know. I know. Tech okay. I will say this. This is a very popular discussion about the Shield main event in WrestleMania, and it should have happened. I'm just like, I feel like that would have been, because other than that, I feel like Seth Rollins had no other time to be to main event besides the Triple Threat Shield match that should have happened at Mania, that happened at Battleground 2016, I believe. I feel like they could have pushed our rivalry up to the for the main event of 2017 WrestleMania. I feel like they could have done that, stretched it out. They, just, uh, I wish they did it though, because what was. The main event in 2017, uh, that was 33, that was Roman versus Undertaker. Ugh. Technically, technically, Seth did the make cash in. WrestleMania 31 via his legendary yes, money but it wasn't cash in during the Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar match. And, but realistically, yeah. as amazing as that moment was, and I truly would not change it for the world, doesn't quite qualify as he a should main have been high on the list. Rollins, the same I feel way like he should have been Roman and Brock or any other Mania main eventer. Now mm -hmm. the question becomes: When should these re-envisioned WrestleMania main events take place? There is a level the of fantasy booking Please here at times, like with our first entry. 
Some of the folks on this list will have had that's a match like the that only would make for a pretty good main event. Besides him winning the Royal Rumble, for, thus creating a need to change. In 2019, in but they, he case, opened the match. It is difficult in to argue that his matches at WrestleMania's 33 through 38 would have made for a better main event than what we Ooh. got. However, I will reiterate until oh, yeah, my since dying day since that now it is completely nights. mad that the Shield Triple Threat match never main evented WrestleMania. <laughs> Big WrestleMania facts. 33 would have been an ideal time to have the match if all three Bro, men were kept strong just following imagine the 2016 Triple Threat and all but those qualifications is them been beating WWE each other. Best in-ring performer of the last few years, a WrestleMania main event with his name on the mark. Make it a table. Nine, table. Make it a TLC match. Now, this one is a lot clearer like, cut. In retrospect, one of the most unsatisfying Wait, WrestleMania main events of all time may well have been WrestleMania 34 Nakamura, closer true. between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Oh, and don't worry, I also had to stop. I love Nakamura, even though I watched a little bit of his NXT stuff. When he debuted, I got chills in the main roster in SmackDown. I got chills when he won the War Rumble in 2018. Chills. I was like, <laughs> I was excited. It's the same for Asuka. But like, yes, that, that one moment in 2018, WrestleMania 34, that was the only possible moment for him to rip main event because his Talk other matches exactly he had of the seven on Mania more main, this one was. main event now, worthy. I will acknowledge that the WWE Championship match between AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura was also quite... I do... Sorry, pausing again. I do feel if they did the two nights in in this WrestleMania, oh, that would have been perfect. AJ Styles and Nakamura closing night one, that would have been Perfect. It's unsatisfying, but I don't know. Maybe if it was the main event of WrestleMania, given a bit more time to get out of second gear, mm -hmm. it didn't feature an ill-thought-out Nakamura heel turn. Bro, the outfits are so a cool. Chance to be the classic Mania match we all hoped it would be. Nakamura, the Royal Rumble winner, becoming the first ever Japanese mm -hmm. WWE champion in the main event of WrestleMania. He could have been the first Japanese been a huge WWE moment to send the fans home a lot champion. happier than they ended up being, having hate watched Roman and Brock. Yes, Number another eight, Roman Brock. Diesel. No one like the cares first about three answers on this list are going to make the um actually part of the comment section, especially vocal. But hey, anything for the algorithm. Sorry for you, I Diesel fans, equally. but that being I said, allow me to explain didn't care our choices, much about including Diesel. Including this one, rewinding about 20 years I mean, prior his to Vince's return Roman Reigns in mega baby face in 2011 was the prototype cool, I guess. for such a strategy. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> the six foot ten bodyguard for HBK Shawn Michaels was seen as a top guy <laughs> in waiting by Vinny Mac, and it wasn't long before he pulled the trigger and pushed Diesel to the WWF Championship in late. I forgot he was champion. Fast forward to the following year's WrestleMania and a clash Ooh. with his former protectee HBK, who had earned a WWF title shot via his 1995 Royal Rumble win. Well, this ah. seems on paper to be a perfect storyline to close a WrestleMania, but it with two wasn't. of the WWF's next generation of main eventers taking center stage, the decision was instead made oh, to grant this Bam one. Bam Bigelow and two-time Super Bowl winner Lawrence Taylor that station. <laughs> Bam Bam well, this event. match was a good celebrity <laughs> angle and something that does have its place on a Mania card. There was no guarantee that it would be any good. So to put it in the main event, that was the risky. WWE Championship, that's a huge risk. And one that didn't quite blow up in their face, but one that probably should have been avoided anyway. Number seven, yeah. Asuka. The now same thing I was talking about with Shinsuke. And WWE if this was a two-night event. Two main events each year, there is an opportunity to give that sweet, sweet night one main event yeah. to some of the very much deserving If it wasn't for the two roster. nights, Bianca the wouldn't have tomorrow, main evented. Being among them. At WrestleMania. Currently, the list of women to main event at WrestleMania is only five names long. Charlotte, Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey, Sasha Banks, Belair, and Bianca and Belair, Belair yeah. to date are the mm -hmm. only ones to close out WWE It's possible for Rhea and Charlotte, but... there are a number of women who should join them. Rhea yes, Ripley may soon but be added not to the this list, year. But Asuka has been too good for too long to not have earned True. such a spot for herself. When this I was excited when she won the Rumble. I was like, oh my god. And she has an undefeated streak because I didn't see any of her NXT stuff before she debuted on the main roster. So when she obviously debuted, I was like, oh, I'm going to watch back some matches. They were fired. They slapped. So I was so angry. I was mad. Big mad when they made her lose Freaking Charlotte! Ah! This should have taken place is difficult to say exactly. I could contradict myself and say Asuka, Asuka and Charlotte should have won. could have made Asuka should WrestleMania have won. 34 over Brock and Roman or Styles and Nakamura. It was still a good match. I just wish Asuka Stupid it, Vince! What were they thinking? He Shinsuke didn't want Japanese people win. Losing. What is your problem? That's Vince? what I'm saying! Despite Triple H and NXT truly was his favorite pastime. 
But whether it was in 2018 as the first women's main event or any time since then, Asuka has always been worthy of a place among the company's Look, very best. Look, uh, she's cute. Number six, Sorry. Jeff Hardy. Ooh, in an ideal now this world, is one. the top good guy should face the top bad guy in the mm -hmm, main event of WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. You could absolutely make the argument that Wasn't in late 2008 this and 2009, 2000, yes, Jeff Hardy was yes. WWE's top good guy. He main evented was SummerSlam 2000... 2009 and was WWE champion when the calendar ticked over from 08 to when 09. Was... And at that time, there were big plans to for Hardy. 2009 WrestleMania, star right? Or past. WrestleMania 25? For those who don't know, the original plan for Jeff Hardy's mystery assailant leading up to the 2009 Royal Rumble was not yes, supposed it was to be his brother Matt. correct. Rather, the man who tampered with Jeff's pyro ran him off the road and attacked him in a stairway Damn. the night of Survivor Series I was meant to be the returning Christian. Christian? A story that would continue with the members of the first ever tag team that was kind of odd. leading up to WrestleMania 25. I wow. mean, they do have history. It makes sense. But for like Edge, wait, did he lose to Edge or did he lose to Randy at the at the I 2009? Well, because Rumble fans figured it out. Chance of we want Christian rang out and thus WWE changed course. Had Matt attack his brother. <laughs> That's with such WWE a stupid reason. Match ending up on the Triple H Randy Orton program for Mania. Oh, which that sucked. Match sucked. Instead, yeah. allow us to rewrite history so that Christian did indeed attack Jeff Hardy in his return to WWE. Yeah, it could have been. Up a more favorable WWE main event match for WrestleMania involving WWE's hottest baby face and the rest of this menagerie of TLC combat. It could have been. Number it five, made it a Rey ladder Mysterio. match. The soon-to-be WWE Rey. Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio Wait. was the story of WWE in early 2000. Wait, who, who main event to 2006? WrestleMania 22, right? Yes, WrestleMania 22. Who made events at WrestleMania 22? 2006, outlasting 29 other men to win that year's Royal Rumble, riding the emotional wave of support following this Eddie Guerrero's untimely fire. death months prior. So with such an Ray emotional versus Randy in versus tow, Kurt. you would expect it to be the closer of WrestleMania 22, right? Yeah. Especially compared to that year's uh, actual main uh, event between yeah, Triple H John and John Cena, versus Cena Triple a match H. built okay. around the idea of rock versus rap. Granted, a star pairing, however, one that lacked that the same the fire match. Of weight that Ray's quest for the gold did. Even worse, the eventual triple threat world heavyweight title match between Kurt Angle, Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio didn't even hit the 10-minute mark. A it fun watch for sure, but one that, given the story that preceded it, it wasn't, could have received more it time and easily could have closed the show. Mysterio would obviously feature Bro, in many main matches. As a kid, that felt like however, 30. However, would never come close to another sniff at the main event. A missed opportunity for sure. Number four, Eddie Guerrero. Mm. Speaking of missed opportunity, while no one could have foretold to Eddie's untimely passing, I feel like it, was it is planned. a crime that Eddie Guerrero never got to close a WrestleMania. The closest Guerrero came was, of course, 2004, WrestleMania where fresh 20. off defeating yes, Brock Lesnar yes. for the WWE Championship at No Way Out, Eddie walked into Mania 20 as champ, defending against mm -hmm. Kurt Angle. It wouldn't have had to be at that mania that, that Eddie could have been fire as it's hard to I mean, argue event, that the but world yes, title triple yes, threat yes. wasn't I the love right choice this on that night. match. But Eddie Guerrero is simply one of those people that WrestleMania itself would have. For some reason, I rewatched WrestleMania 20 so many a lot of times. Like, I haven't watched it in a while, but like it's something I watched a lot as a kid. From having its main event at some rewatched that man. You could also make the argument with hindsight being what it is that having Eddie and Kurt close out WrestleMania 20 would make that show. Yeah, a lot that could have been a main event for obvious reasons. But there's a contingent of the comment section Such that seem to get real riled up when you suggest match. changing any great Benoit moments. So instead, I'm just going to move on. Number three, Dean Ambrose. The as same thing in our first as entry, a shield the makes sense. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose and failed he, to close the WrestleMania. And well. he was champion in like the second half of 2016. But he, lost, he loses it to AJ. Then AJ takes it against... No, way. Then he loses it to Cena. Cena loses it to Bray. Then Bray loses it. To Randy at the at Mania. Yeah, I feel like Dean Ambrose and AJ could have wrestled at Mania. Well, the big guy like has done managed that. to close out five with a six not far off is a true, crying shame. True. While Reigns has undoubtedly earned that right, in recent years anyway, many of his mm -hmm, main event appearances mm -hmm. were distinctly unworthy in retrospect. Yeah. Like Mania 32, for example. Yeah, yeah. Ambrose was clearly the more over of the two and could and big should facts. have challenged Triple H. I, I the love strap. Dean. Dean I was, was my favorite block. of the show. I know firsthand how great their match was. But no, it was Reigns. Ambrose instead got squashed by a grumpy Brock Lesnar. Oh, I forgot Again, about I that Again, I am match. drawn back to WrestleMania 33. 
I will bang the shield triple threat drum all day long because yeah, it is that could have happened there too. That after all the hype that went into drafting Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose Dean first had and second so Raw SmackDown had two in potential matches by the for time Mania. we got to Mania, Dean was defending against the IC AJ title against Baron Corbin on the pre-show. And you oh, know the what's worse? Threat. This was Ambrose's the final Mania the, appearance, the missing one. 34 due to a triceps tear and sitting out on 35 due to his impending WWE exit. The fact mm -hmm. that WWE never took the chance to pull the trigger on an all Shield Triple Big Threat facts. world title match at WrestleMania is simply inconceivable. Inconceivable, I say. Mm -hmm. Number and two, Dean should have won both. Now this one. I what? Mean, seriously, what were the Okay, thinking? I'm surprised about Fresh this Fresh off one. winning perhaps still the greatest Royal Rumble in history in 1992, Ric Flair oh, was headed okay. into WrestleMania as WWF champion. And what else did he, did he win two? The company's new top heel. Flair was a truly one of a kind. Did he win 93 as well? First time WWF had a potential blockbuster match to end oh my all God, blockbuster like a young matches Undertaker. in their grasp. Flair versus Hogan. The wrestling world's two undeniably biggest stars. I'm going to say it. I don't care about Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Even when I was little, I didn't care. To be fair, I was little during John Cena, John Cena era. <laughs> so obviously, I didn't grow up watching Hulk Hogan. But whatever, when I see, but when I tried to watch, you know, the Hogan era, I was like, this is garbage. I don't like this. I just never liked Hogan. I probably would have if I did, if I did grow up in the era. But just, the grandest stage of them all, uh, the WWF Championship. Wow. Indiana. Truly one for the ages. The stage was set, and what a match it was. And they didn't. It didn't happen, Instead, yeah. bafflingly, keeping Flair and Hogan separate so they could book Flair versus Randy Savage in an admittedly great match, and Hogan versus Sid, Sid. Justice. Oh, and to make matters even worse, it was Hogan and Sid that closed out the show, not the WWF Championship match. Mm. Uh, this still infuriates me to no end. No wonder yeah, Flair didn't hang around sense. long enough to get the chance to main event another WrestleMania during his peak. By the time Flair was back competing at WrestleMania, his time in the main event was old. sadly long gone. Out yeah. of all the omissions, this one is still potentially the most baffling. Number 1.5, Sami Zayn and the Usos. True. This is my plea to WWE for this weekend. I agree. After all the work that I has been done on this I want it to happen. Story, I'm with you. Sami Zayn and the Usos truly deserve to close out night one of WrestleMania 39. Kevin Owens mm -hmm. has a Mania mm -hmm. main event under his belt, but there is True. no Last match years. more deserving of that spotlight this year than this tag match. And mm -hmm. what a distinction mm -hmm. this could have, serving as the first time the WWE tag titles would ever have been defended in a WrestleMania main True. event. True. That will be Make history. WWE. Please and thank you. I agree. And number one, CM Punk. All right. You know what? I'm, Let me, I'm gonna say this about Punk. I don't care about Punk. <laughs> I will admit, the reason I don't care about Punk is number one. He beat my boy Jeff Hardy. Uh, that's the reason I don't like him. Number two, he took the champ away from John Cena. That's another reason why. <laughs> but besides, other than that, I really didn't care much about Punk. I feel like the only time I rooted for him is when he was face at the end of 2013. I think is when he was face. I believe so. I believe so. And I do like his first theme song. This fire burns. Fire slaps better than cult of personality. You heard Starting me. To see a parallel between Flair and our final entry. While Flair was overshadowed, I mean, by I do Hogan kind of agree. WWF I heard, run, you know, the like same could easily it would have been a triple there if I'm much correct. of his time as WWE champion when he lost between to 2011 the and 2013, rock. constantly being portrayed as a lesser attraction than John Cena. Mm -hmm. This was evident on numerous occasions in I mean, 2012. Just look at any pay per view in the first half of the year. Cena was constantly above Punk in the card, despite not carrying WWE's top prize. I mean, oh, it's Cena John Cena. John what are you Knight talking about? Over the limit 2012 main evented over CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan, and I oh, that match was good. The breath necessary to express my distaste for that nonsense. Anyway, back to WrestleMania. The year Punk held the WWE title was unfortunately the year that Big Dwayne the Rock Johnson Whoa. and John Cena had booked the yes. main event a year in advance. So John Cena should have won that match. You heard me. F the Rock. I don't like The Rock. So naturally, Punk and Jericho but he's never good stood on a the mic. Being given that nod. <laughs> However, what was worse than that was the year prior in 2011, where the WWE Miz. overlooked Punk as the antagonist to Super Cena in the Mania 27 main event. The Miz the main event the Miz, A terrible match that I will never, ever rewatch. You can't make me. I won't watch it on Worst Match Ever, Luke. I agree. You won't make me. I watched it once, and, and I don't think I've ever watched it again. 
Punk was used as nothing more than a prop in the eventual rematch between Dwayne and yeah. John when WWE yeah. could have very easily done the right thing and booked a triple threat instead of the extremely predictable singles match we got instead. Punk just gets his Mania main event. Who knows what the last eight years look like. And that's our list. If you enjoyed it, doing nothing and being kicked out of AEW. And that's what Punk gets. Anyways, fantastic video. I agree. I agree with the KO and Sammy. And the Usos made a Venti Night 1. It should happen. I need that. I need that. And obviously, of course, the, the link to the original video down in the description below. Obviously, go watch it yourself. Go like it yourself. Please support, you know, Parts Fun Unknown. And support me by liking and subscribing. See you all at WrestleMania. No, I'm not going to live stream it. Obviously, I can't. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye.